What's up table tennis nerds, welcome back to the Limitless channel. Week four, part three of my series Row to 1550 TTR. Um, this is Wemmensweiler again and today I'm training with Janosch, very good player. If you compare my forehand topspin here against his forehand topspin, it's much different, right? He accelerates his, his forearm way more and creates um, a lot more speed and spin that he's able to create on the contact point. So you could say his touch is much better than mine. Here you see my backhand topspin. I like my backhand topspin movement, to be honest, way, way more than my forehand topspin movement. It's quite stable. I, I have a pretty small, it's a pretty small movement, so less room for error, right? And yeah, of course it can be improved, but I'm way more happier with this one at this stage than with my forehand movement, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, Janosch has a completely different backhand topspin movement. Unfortunately, the camera perspective is not perfect, but compared to this, it's way different. But also very loose and relaxed, his movement, like his forehand topspin is, in a sense. And here we are training, um, we're doing exercises. And my exercise here is just um, doing a backspin serve and then forehand topspin against Janos push. So pretty much my one of my main exercises because it's such a weakness of mine. Um, the forehand topspins against counter balls, so straight balls or with topspin, no, it's fine, but this is still, as you can see here, they look way more relaxed than the balls I do against, um, the returns I do against his push. And that's why I still, I have to practice that every session until it gets better. And yeah, as you can see, also my arm, the movement looks very close. Like my arm movement looks positioned better, better said is way, super close to my torso, to my body. And that's all things that, yeah, I really need to work on. It's, it's hard to, to be honest, it's, it's hard for me because uh, the improvement there, uh, it, it goes very slowly. But whatever, I need to do what I need to do. And I trained it. So here you see, that's okay. I create spin, I use my body and also here the, the movement to the ball, a step to the right to, to get a good position to hit it clean is, is better than we saw in previous videos, let's, let's say that. So here, um, again, if I look at this, I always see, I like this, this one. This, this top spin against the push there because it looked looser. My, uh, I think that's it again. Also the footwork is okay and the movement looked looser than usual. So more relaxed and um, I like seeing that. So now Janos plays an exercise. He plays um, forehand side, middle backhand side and then forehand side again. So at the backhand side he can vary uh, all in my backhand of course. He can vary if he wants to do a backhand topspin or if he wants to do uh, another forehand topspin, right? It's a very dynamic exercise, very good for footwork. And he, he told me that's his main exercise he likes to play. You can see his movement there again, which looks Pretty good, powerful, still controlled, and dynamic, quite dynamic if I compare that with mine. And now he does the same, same exercise in my forehand. He did the same exercise in my forehand. Look at his backhand topspin. Kaboom, really good. Really good. So now we play a match, which, uh, obviously doesn't go my way <laughs> but i enjoy it so much to play with players much better than me he has well over 400 points on me and has a very experienced good player 
as you can see i don't think he plays 100 percent here very relaxed smiling <laughs> that's enough for me but yeah again i'm enjoying it it's great great experience also his game intelligence as you can see he knows where to place the ball to make it hard for me To be honest, first two sets went way better than the last two times I played against. I played against him. Uh, the first one was pretty close, I guess. But as long as I keep doing so many mistakes, still so unnecessary mistakes, and my performance, um, I don't know how how to call it. Sometimes like, the focus doesn't stay the same. And sometimes I want it too much and I, I take too many risks. Yeah. And other times I'm too relaxed and then I stop moving enough and play balls that are not dangerous for my opponent. All these things. And here he realized that I have trouble if he just does very slow, kind of high top spins. And my timing was off. That's also a sign of a good player. A lot of players, they cannot, they only have one, one speed, right? They cannot change their speed or their spin. Um, and he can, so that can cause trouble to weaker players like mine because uh, I don't adapt fast enough. So guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss future episodes. Leave a comment. A lot of you leaving comments. We love that. Uh, so we know what you like, uh, what you want to see, and see you in the future episodes.